Hi all, good afternoon. So I am at home for Christmas break and I've kind of taken it upon myself to begin making a new chicken. I have some time, I have the materials. So I'm gonna sit here and kind of vlog it out. It's obviously not gonna be done in one sitting. It's gonna be a lot of kind of fast forwarding, but I wanted to kind of show you all the process. And these are the kind of the colors I have selected for this one. This is the general color scheme. I have some extra stuff if I run out of those colors. I'm not gonna be too particular on the colors. I'm not too picky. It's more about just like the overall look and making sure the colors do kind of go together. I have my needles. These are actually a little bit bigger, I think, than the needles for the original chicken. They're not as big as the, the needles I used for the jumbo chicken, so hopefully it does not turn out like that. But each one is an experiment, and let's get started. So we start with the tail. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do kind of this navy color for the tail. And I hope I have enough of this yarn. We'll see. So you start by casting on 19 stitches. It's not a knitting tutorial. It's just gonna be kind of a, a chicken overview, if you will. Hello. You wanna say hello? hello? Hi all. Hi all, happy Christmas. I have all the directions printed out because I certainly still do not know how to do this independently. It's kind of easier to have them printed out so you can check things off as you go, for me at least. Hi. Goldie, look, I'm filming. You wanna say hello? Hello. <laughs> say hi. Hi. Guess what I'm making? I'm just starting a new chicken. You wanna show the chicken I made for you? Who is it? I'm just filming it right now. Who is it for? It is just going to be a video. For the internet. For the internet. You want to go grab your chicken? Show, show them your chicken that I made you for your birthday. Here's my chicken. <laughs> this is Goldie's chicken. Tell them what you named it. I named it... You told me you named it Molly. Molly. So Goldie got a regular sized chicken for her birthday a couple weeks ago. What do you think about it? I like it and its name is Molly. I love it. What are these little things? Those are little place markers. Okay, now here is Goldie's chicken again for reference. And I have just finished the first part of the tail. So it will basically just be this little small triangle right here. That is the first portion of the tail complete. I am going to switch to a little bit of this kind of tealish color for the rest of the tail and there will be two pieces for the tail because there's obviously front and back. Okay, so here I am. Here is the progress that we've made on the first portion of the tail. So I added the little teal kind of accent in the middle and I'm almost done with the whole entire first section. Now I've just got to say this is now the fourth chicken that I've made. So this is all, I've now been in about four different outfits but this has all been in one day, obviously with some breaks in between. But this is gonna be the first section. We're almost done with it and then I will repeat the exact same thing for the other half of the back tail that they, we will then put together. So let's kind of wrap up this first portion. Okay, and that is it. We are done with the first panel. All I'm gonna do next, I kind of did a bind off on this. I'm gonna simply replicate this for the other half of the tail until it be sewn to the other side of it. I think first panel is looking gorgeous. Okay, so it's day one complete for the chicken. I honestly made a lot more progress than I expected because I have completed both edges of the tail. I had enough yarn to make it even and I'm gonna have to call it a day for day one. But um, the first chicken that I made, that took me probably one to two weeks to just do that portion. So next I'll put those pieces together and then start making the body of the chicken. Congrats to me for day one. Two is going on of the chicken. Now I brought my knitting with me as me and Tia were running some errands. Tia's filming for me. You wanna say hello, Tia? Hi. Turn the camera around. No, Turn it around it's so they okay. can see. Hey, good dude. And so with Tia and Gus Glenn as my witnesses, this is what I have accomplished for day two. So remember I kind of ended with the two flaps of the tail last night. I've added this stripe and then this is going to be the color of the body, this pinkish kind of color right here at this stripe and you kind of see the chicken start coming to life. So tail, body, 
and then we'll keep going from there. That's the process. You start with the tail and then work your way up to the head. And I got the fluff that will go on the inside. Okay, hey y'all, we are calling it a day on day two. And I'm gonna reveal the progress that we have made. I'm on page three of six of the instructions. So I would say I'm about halfway done, almost, which is crazy for 48 hours. Okay, so here we go. You see how the tail is complete and we have started the body attached to that there. So you can see it all kind of laid out. It looks huge, but that's how it's done. You just have to do it flat. And then I'm gonna fold it. Okay, and there you see it. So that's the tail. And then the body's coming forward. So we are moving forward and pushing through. Okay, y'all, day three and I am freaking out. I'm about to go to bed and I've been working on it for like a couple of hours, but here is the latest chicken progress. The way, but look. Uh, so that's it, and then we're getting up here, and I'll kind of do a couple more rows, and then it'll be the beak. So hopefully I will get to that tomorrow. You know, kind of had a lot of time on my hands, and I was also moving fast. So that's it, kind of put together as the shape, and you fold out like that. I mean, it's, it's big. Results are coming along, and it is seeming to be normal size, not jumbo, which is what the goal was. So very excited to kind of see the finished product coming soon. Yay, y'all, good night. <laughs> okay, hey y'all, this is day four of me knitting this chicken. I've only been working on it for four days. Wow. Frankie's telling me we are here reporting live from Seaside, Florida for New Year's, and Sydney drove me down today, and I knitted the whole entire time in the car, and check out the progress, y'all. It's a complete chicken. It's literally the whole thing. And then, so this is the front part that will go down here. So basically, I just need to put in the eyes. I need to make the little gobbler thing that goes down here. Mm -hmm. And the little thing that goes up here. The stuffing <laughs> down the beach with me as well. So I'm gonna stuff it, sew it. Hopefully I'll be wrapped it up by tomorrow. That is amazing. Is that okay, so here's the eye. You kinda wanna figure out the best spot for it. That looks real pretty, I think. And then you insert it in from behind. <laughs> We're in the car and just stuffed. <laughs> chicken complete. So we she looks to, perfect. We're about to bring it out for a little photo marina. shoot. We're about to go to the marina, of course. But I'm also in my knitted shrug. And so you are just like, uh, <laughs> okay, thank you. Sorry, we had to get the parking pass and all, but I am too excited, y'all. Chicken complete. It's That's huge. It's gorgeous. It's not jumbo, but it is like a little yeah. thicker. It's like thicker. <laughs> thicker than, than I thought. <laughs> okay, everyone. Today is a special day because today is a day after literally a month at home that I'm traveling back to Los Angeles with chicken in tow because, you know, I was going to sell this and even for a brief time had it on my Etsy. And then a kindness kind of swarmed over me from within and I decided that I'm going to give it to Tristan Watson for his birthday. His birthday party is this weekend and he's always like, I wish you would make me a chicken. I'm like, you know, he doesn't take care of the squishmallows that he has at home. So I don't know if he's going to be able to appreciate and love this in the way that it deserves. But my servant's heart is shining out and through right now. So I'm going to be, you know, a really sweet friend and give it to him for his birthday. But I want to make some to sell in the future, so we'll kind of be in touch about that. But this is about to travel with me from Birmingham, Alabama to LAX. I'm having a, like its own separate carry-on bag, so it should be interesting. I'll try to get some travel footage. Okay, y'all, we made it through security. <laughs> about to get on the plane to head to LA. We are having a little bit of a delay, so I'm watching my programming, which is Real Housewives. And then we'll have a little layover in Dallas. And then guess who's picking me up from the airport? Your new dad, Tristan. So I might go ahead and give it to him tonight just simply because I don't want to haul it around anymore. So Tristan might get a very early birthday present, which is so exciting, but I will film his reaction and whatnot. Okay, hi all. It is about what, midnight 30? Midnight 30. Midnight 30 against all odds I have made it back to LA and my sweet, sweet, sweet boyfriend, Tiffany, picked me up from <laughs> Sweet boyfriend Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany Marie has decided to pick me up from the airport on this Thursday night. Big nice. weekend ahead. Us. So for those who don't know, my birthday is on the 19th, but we're having a party on this Saturday, so we want to get it started on a good note. You, <laughs> you are kidding. And just, for me? And it just traveled all the way across the country. That's for me? Yeah. Jenny! <laughs> real soft. It's real pretty. 
Oh, that's so sweet. And, to, and I did say earlier that you sometimes have a hard time taking care of your things. So we'll have to see. This is going to be a real test of It's a real testimonial. Of I love it. You'll know I, I asked Channing for one and she said, I don't, I don't. I said, I don't think you should get one because he can't take care of his things. <laughs> It's a little wet. Did something spill on it? My water bottle. Mid flight. There okay, I love it. Oh, Tiff. So for reference, I am 120 pounds okay. and six seven. Okay. So this is what it looks like <laughs> next to me. Oh, I love. And it. that came on the yacht with us. No, it's yours, so you get to oh, name this it. Oh, did come on the yacht. Came in, yeah. Wow. Okay. What should I name her? I think it's a her. Okay. Okay, y'all, Tiff cannot think of a name. We are both standing here in our gray sweatpants, of course. Okay, so I'm enlisting the help of you guys. I want y'all to be involved in this. This is just as much y'all's chicken as it is mine. I know y'all might be wanting your own chicken, but for now, I want y'all to go ahead and suggest a name in the comments below, and whatever gets the most likes, that's what we will name it, because this is for y'all and for us and for the community. And It'll just be in your possession in my right possession. now. However, if you do want one, I would swipe up for more details as Channing is going to be starting her own chicken knitting um, software business pro pro protocol, protocol, etc. I will and say before the end of this year, I do want to try to sell at least five or six chickens. I can't really commit to all of that right now because they take so much time, but I will take... And we have full-time jobs as well. Right. A lot of people don't know that. We do work, but I will take about... Five to six orders in my DMs on Instagram, so kind of swipe up, slide and they might be in. a little smaller than this, so. That one was a, is a little bit bigger, but it's not as big as the jumbo. Right. I'm gonna right. test it out with some small, even smaller needles and see what we can work with. Anyway, happy birthday, Tristan. Thank you, Channing. Okay, y'all, good night for me and my original chicken. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who tuned in for this whole process. It's kind of exciting for me to see it go from just, you know, the yarn to an actual gifted chicken. Will Tristan appreciate and take care of it is TBA. To be announced, we shall see. I'm only praying that he will. And hopefully we will kind of be in touch about me making some to sell. Drop. I am taking questions in the comments below if you have any questions about the chicken, the gift, the process, the whole thing, as well as name suggestions for Tristan's chicken. Again, as always, like, comment, subscribe, y'all. It just makes my day seeing y'all's comments. It really does. And happy birthday, Tristan. Y'all reach out and wish him a happy birthday.